everyone, back out in the field, day six, after a nice weekend off, relaxing and driving Darcy around. <laughs> but yeah, we're going up a place called Backside Beck, which is notorious for people falling over on their ass. so I'll try and capture as many of those as I can on camera. I arrived at this outcrop and found a loose piece of a fairly fresh face and um, we set about trying to identify it. So it's built of grains, so we use a grain size chart which gives us a key to uh, various sized grains so that we can identify what kind of rock we've got. We then look at it using our hand lens and identify the kind of grains that there are. So there might be quartz grains or grains of other rocks that have been ground down to smaller smaller sizes and incorporated into this. We did it! Same two fracture networks as well. That stuff looks different. I think I'm probably quicker than you guys. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> who needs who needs wellies? <laughs> Please call the goo. We found stuff which is very similar but not quite the same. There's a tight, a very small grain size difference in what we've seen so far, and it's enough that we can quite comfortably say that they're very different. Well, very, not very different, but different. We've come up to a bend in the stream and we're thinking everything else has been pretty straight along the same unit and if there's a bend that must mean that there's something else going on so time to investigate. Mud. Well we spent nine hours in the field today Woo. as a record and saw a lot of lithologies, some new ones. Some of our old favourites, the uh, blue-grey laminated silstone is a favourite. Saw a couple of great faults, made notes of them, and a couple of antiforms, sinforms, and a lot of midges. The river's too, too high to um, go down and have a look at, but it is so midgy. I think all the wet weather has made them hungrier for human flesh. I've become a midgy fly trap human fly trap because of all the insect spray I've got on me they're just landing and sticking it's just disgusting day very hard to work in my hand is just becoming a death trap Oh my god! <laughs> the orange bits are super dull. Yeah, that's a dead that's a dead animal. God, that's awful. Rip. So we've been walking up this river section, river section and um, we found an igneous intrusion and followed it all the way up. Uh, we think it's like a series of, sort of interfingering intrusions with the blue grey silk there. It's raining again, so we're going to go out and see what we can do up to these stream sections. The raw feed is very full, so we can't go down there again, but we're going to go up the side of the hills for as long as we can bear it and see what we can find. You're right, it's not that grainy, is it? Mm. Walking up the stream. I think, well, we found something that we're not sure about having a, 
discussion on whether it's a fold or a fault or it's just normal and the rithers kind of mess it up a little bit. Because we've got two bits that are the same, then in between we've got bits which kind of roll around so it looks a bit like a fold and then it flicks back again to normal afterwards so quite confusing, taking as much data as we can and then we'll interpret it as we go. Tench egg. This stuff here. some farmers and see if we can get permission to go on their land then call it a day. It's a big day tomorrow, we've got to be ready because our mapping advisor Tim, Professor Tim Reston is coming up to uh, give us a little visit and show us what's actually going on. That'd be good, hopefully I can get some of that on camera. Hey look it's Matt! <laughs> 